Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we're getting into layering combinations. Y'all been asking me for a layering video for, Lord, since, I don't know, summer? <laughs> I said I was gonna do a fall one. I never got around to it. I need to do these way more often because I find that these videos really date themselves very fast, especially when you're using Bath and Body Works products because they phase that stuff out literally every you know couple of months. So without further ado, let's get into my video of top layering combinations for winter. <laughs> So y'all have been asking me about a layering video for some time. I said I was gonna do one for fall, I never got around to doing it. I find that these videos have to be done very, very often because they date themselves very often, especially when you are using Bath and Body Works products. They phase those things in and out so fast, it's like I can't even keep up, all right? So, Ormond, ooh. My favorite type of scent, okay? And there is nothing like leaving your house for the day. You smell amazing. And when you come home, you still smell amazing. So what can we do to make those scents last longer? That is why you are here today. So let's get into this, all right? So the first thing we have to address is exfoliating the skin. Now, there are so many sugar scrubs out there you can choose from um, that smell great, but I just like what works tried and true for me, and that is going to be a physical and chemical exfoliant in one. And I love, love, love Kate Somerville's Exfolicate. This has the papaya enzymes. It has, I don't know, like a multitude of things in there. In addition to the pumice stone exfoliator, which is the best physical exfoliator for the body, in my opinion, okay? It does not damage the skin. Sugar and salt can damage the skin, okay? Just depending on how it's milled and how it's done. But most dermatologists will recommend a pumice stone and that is what this has in it. So when I tell you, when you put this on dry skin, exfoliate on dry skin, so that it's not slipping, okay? You really want to pick up all of the dirt, the dry skin, all of that, and you want to buff it away from the body. So dry skin, scrub this in. You do not have to go in hard, <laughs> just enough so that you know, you're know you working it in. Uh, let it sit for the recommended amount of time. Rinse off and you will feel like, a bit, like an infant. Your skin is going to feel like a, a two month old baby soft skin is what you're going to have, okay? So I cannot recommend this enough. Get this exfoliate in your life. You will not be sorry. All right, so after we have fully exfoliated skin, we're going to move into our body washes. Now, this is not gonna be the end all be all. If you don't have a scented body wash, it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna do that much to amplify the scent, but it is, it creates like this, this beautiful scent experience you know, from the time you get up. As soon as you get in the shower, you're already just in a good mood, honey, because it smells amazing, and you get out the shower smelling amazing. Now, you don't have to overthink the body wash. Just stick with basics, and you will be okay. Vanilla, you cannot go wrong with vanilla. You cannot really go wrong with rose. Um, I find that I'm loving sandalwood uh, body washes. Things that you find typically in a lot of perfumes, just get those, start there. You don't have to have 10,000 body washes, but if you want to have, you know, four or five that you rotate out, that is a good place to start. So when I tell you this rose combination is still gourmand, but it's giving rose. It is amazing. You're going to start with the Lush Rose Jam Body Wash. This is the best rose body wash that you will ever get on your body. Oh my God. When I tell you, when I get in the shower and I, I start to, to scrub with this, I'm literally like, oh my God, oh my God, out loud in the shower all the time. Like it is an experience each and every time I use this. Rose Jam, it is exactly what it says. It's like a jammy rose but it's so fragrant and it is so beautiful. And if you only have one rose scented body wash, 
this is the one you need. I don't need to buy any other rolls body washes, okay, but this one. I'm going to get the big jumbo bottle for Christmas and it's always gonna be in rotation, okay? This is a must, this is a must for rose lovers. And if you want to just accent with rose, this is going to be your go-to. Now, you must, you must have <laughs> this Turkish rose oil by Ness, okay? And I know you're like, girl, what is with all the roses? How is this gourmand? Let me tell you. Gourmand is anything you're gonna consume, anything edible, right? So we can still do gourmand uh, being drinkable, champagne, correct? So what I love doing is layering Dom Rosa rose champagne with Pink Me Up. Oh my goodness. That is this combo right here, okay? Champagne, rose, you're gonna smell like a rose bath drinking champagne. Then you have this syrupy blackberry note in here that just, it just is a vibe. And if you really, if you really trying to do the most, girl, go ahead and add in a little third perfume of Delina Exclusive or Delina and you are going to smell so good. I've layered all three of those perfumes with the Rose Jam and when I tell you compliments, when I tell you I was feeling myself all day, combo for the gods, okay? As far as my go-to rose uh, body creams, I love, love, love the Rose Bath and Body Works body cream. I think this one is always available year round. It's just a staple. Like I go through these so fast. This one and my warm sugar vanilla, I just, I have to have like multiple bottles of them because I fly through them because I layer the most with my rolls and my vanilla. Now, if you have something with like a rose chocolate, like the Venom of Love, um, you know, just anything with a rose and chocolate, I love the cacao and rose from Bath & Body Works. I don't know if this one is still available, but this cacao is not doing the most. So, I, I just, I love it. It's very natural smelling cacao rose scent that feels a, like therapeutic. Like this is a part of the aromatherapy line and I feel like those just have a very natural smell to them. And this is just a go-to for any like rose chocolate combo. Or if you just wanna add a little hint of cacao to any of your regular rose fragrances, this one is one to have in your collection as well. All right, so we've had our rose moment, but we did mention chocolate, so let's just go ahead and move into the chocolate layering combos. So, you guys, Philosophy is just a brand that I love, um, and I just find that they're very consistent. You know what you're gonna get when you have a Philosophy product. So this one is the Hot Cocoa Body Wash. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a QVC vaulted product and it is available right now for winter. So if you're looking for something that has like a chocolate scent to it, you know, that's got that hot chocolate vibe, this one is a go-to. Now I feel like this one is not overly chocolate. It's not heavy, thick, decadent, you know, like tonic. It's just a little hint of, you know, cacao chocolate in there, which is gonna be a good base for the chocolate scented fragrances. Now, what does give the chocolate, okay, and the almond is going to be this baby right here. This is going to be pink chocolate macaroon. This thing smells D vine so if you have anything with like a chocolate and a nut in there like um venom of love absolutely layering combo for this one um what else if you have something like uh chelsea knights you know chelsea knights has the hazelnut and it has a cacao perfect this literally smells like pink macaroons. So macaroons, if you don't know anything about baking, it's got, it's made like from like an almond base. So it's always got like this almondy, slightly cherry vibe to it when you eat a macaroon. But this one also has the chocolate, oh my God. Y'all, when I say you need to run and don't walk to QVC online to get these vaulted items, okay? You're not gonna find these everywhere and I just don't want you to miss out. So everything will be linked below, but this is a must. If you like chocolate, if you want something with a little macaroon, like you want to smell like an edible little macaroon, this you absolutely need. Now, this one, 
I feel like if you're just looking for something super decadent, this one isn't going to be it. But again, it's a body wash. It's not going to be the end all be all. But this one so far is my favorite chocolate body wash to go to. I tried the one from Lush. I love the way it smells, but it's no lather. It's almost like the consistency of a scrub. And like when you start working it in and all the stuff starts, you know, getting everyone in the shower, it's like chocolate milk is, I don't. I'm very visual, okay? I need everything to look clean, to look a certain way, even when I'm in the shower, even though I know it's getting rinsed off. It was like hot chocolate everywhere in the shower. I did not like that. I did not like that experience, even though the Lush chocolate like body wash stuff smells good. I didn't like the actual washing experience. So this is my go-to chocolate, all right? Now, something else um, from the philosophy range that I love, y'all know, if I'm wearing something like tonic, I love layering with the uh, fresh cream body wash in the shower. Now, that may not be everyone's vibe. So, Philosophy also has fresh cream warm cashmere, which is not creamy or like tonic at all, really. It's more of like a woody, super sweet caramel vanilla type of scent. And QVC has the glazed body souffle for this one as well. When I say, this thing is, these glazes are so emollient and they are so rich and like the scent is scenting. Like this is not a faint smell. This smells just like the fragrance, just like the fragrance. So if you want to add like this rich, like caramelized caramel vanilla woody scent to anything you have, fresh cream, warm cashmere, uh, body souffle, and pair it with the uh, the fragrance. Oh my God, you're gonna smell amazing. You put this on after the shower, you're gonna smell up the whole room. Great to have in your arsenal for layering, I'm telling you. And since they have discontinued, I think they're discontinuing uh, my beloved Laura Mercier um, creme brulee because it's very hard to find now. This is gonna be like my new go-to because something vanilla, creamy, like they just like, they just, are amazing for a starting point in your layering, okay? So next up is going to be more vanilla, okay? <laughs> of course, this is a staple. You have to have this. Like if you don't have anything to start in the shower with, just start with your basic warm sugar vanilla, okay? So when I'm wearing my Cali Vanilla 28, Okay, this combo is a must, okay? When I am wearing um, anything that's straight for vanilla, this is my go-to. Now, Bath & Body Works also has, oh my God, Christmas cookies. So I love layering this with my Accident Olive Anise because that smells literally like a vanilla shortbread or biscuit. It smells divine. But when you start, you know, with this, with the body spray, Oh my God, and the Christmas cookies uh, body cream, you're going to smell like a complete snack. I'm, t I'm telling you, these smell so, my daughter keeps coming in here and spraying this. Oh, it smells so good, it smells so good. And this actually has some staying power, like three or four hours, you're still gonna have, you know, hints of this on your skin, which is kind of crazy for, you know, a body spray, but Mm, this is a must if you're trying to smell decadent this winter. The Christmas cookies, it's everything. So this actually has notes of almonds, biscotti, caramel woods, and creamy cookie dough. And that is exactly what you're gonna smell like. If you want something just a little less decadent, but still vanilla, the vanilla bean a well is, oh my God, it is to die. Like I need this for all year because this is, is good. It's like the warm vanilla sugar. But for some reason, like the sugar cookie whipped cream aspect of this, it is just so indulgent. I love, love, love. So if you're trying to add a little bit more vanilla to something, if you're trying to sweeten up a fragrance, like this is a must, like these are must, okay? Now, what perfumes I love layering this one with is going to be my Kelly Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli because it is, it's, it's got that creme brulee, okay? It is very vanilla forward, of course. And it's got like this, this has like a musky base to it. And that one does as well. So I just find that those layer beautifully. 
and again bringing out like the sweet rich decadent side of that fragrance okay so let's get into our boozy fragrances so men we at demi is like one of my favorite boozy fragrances note vanille um you know very cognac vanilla vibe and also my black phantom all very boozy scents now for anything with like a chocolate and booze, which I have quite a few of those, Dolce Diablo, um, Venom of Love. Uh, this one is what I go to. This is my Italian mocha. So this is coffee and chocolate, but this thing is fragrant. This is by Tree Hut. And I don't know if this is just like really available for you to walk in the store and find, but this one I get from Amazon. I'll have it linked, but this thing smells amazing now another alternative is going to be the vanilla mocha martini this one is good too but this one is even better and this one i mean i'm sure this is going to be phased out after christmas but this one will probably still be readily available on amazon listen if you have anything with a coffee a little chocolate like listen this is like what you need in your life and again those chocolate boozy fragrances i love 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 putting this on my body, okay? Well, also another one you want to consider if you have any coffee fragrances, any coffee fragrances with booze. Coffee whiskey, the girls, look, this is this is marketed for the men, but the girls have been all over this from Bath and Body Works, I'm telling you. This is literally a dupe for black phantom i'm telling you so when i'm wearing my black phantom or if i'm having any kind of a coffee boozy moment this is what i am wearing this also you know this body cream men we at demi i mean all day because it has the coffee and the whiskey i'm telling you you are going to smell so good and if you layer it with the like the body spray the the body cream the shower gel to this set and then you put on your men we at demi what projection, sillage, all of the things. Black Phantom don't need no help, okay? But if you want to enrich the experience, start off with these as well, I'm telling you. If you like Black Phantom, you can't, you, you're not trying to come up with the Killian price tag, this is an excellent dupe. They smell just alike. And like I said, very, very good base. If you have any fragrances in your arsenal that, you know, kind of have that scent profile. Also, my Dulce, like I said, Dulce Diablo, it has a cacao, okay? It has the rum. And so this one is just like, they need to make sure this is around like all year. If not, I'm stocking up because this is like the one to start your layering combos off with. All right, guys. And so before we move on from coffee, the coconut and coffee by OGX has just been a staple for like over a year now. This, I find that... If you don't even have to have anything associated with coffee and coconut, you can just throw this on when you want something that smells rich and sweet. I so many times grab for this just to lift up my mood, you know, um, and like I said, it can be, I don't even have to have a fragrance plan for the day that includes a coffee caramel. So what you get from this, it's almost like, oh, I hope I ain't getting none on my nose. <laughs> it's almost like a very, slight hint of coffee you don't really it doesn't smell like a coconut like fleshy coconut type of scent it smells almost like a caramel um latte type of a fragrance it is so gorgeous and it is so fragrant so really anything sweet anything like vanilla sweet coffee sweet caramel it doesn't even matter this is just a go to i probably use this one more than any of my scented body washes um yeah, because it just, it is, it is everything. So, and you know, and it's not very expensive. So you can easily find this like at your Publix, grocery stores, Target, like anyone that sells a line, usually they will have this one. I'll link it down below, but love, love, love this coffee and coconut body wash. And it's very, very moisturizing, hydrating to the skin. All right. So if you have any fragrances with a, with a honey note, you absolutely must get this in your life. Panera de Sans has, uh, it's called the Regenerating Honey Shower Nectar. This smells so fragrant. This is honey, like this is honey and it 
is so luxurious and I just absolutely love you know, starting my shower routine off with this one. If I'm wearing my Libre Parfum, if I'm wearing my Dolce Diablo, I'll start in the shower with that sometime. Anything with the Honey Note, this is my go-to. And I also have the body scrub to this, the Honey Body Scrub. Oh my God. I'm telling you, this line, do not sleep on this because they have the orange blossom. Oh, let me go get it. Let me go get it. I'm back. So they have the orange blossom body products too with Panera de Sons so fragrant okay so luxurious i think this is a french company um you can order direct but you can also easily order through amazon which is where i get mine but ugh, this line do not sleep on this line i'm telling you everything is very high quality very moisturizing and i absolutely love it if you're looking for orange blossom for all of your orange blossoms I, this is just a go-to this body wash and this um this lotion very very good quality same for the honey all right so this next combination you guys is going to be uh the body scrub orange and ginger okay now i have the whole the whole trifecta here so if i'm wearing something like a with a fresher scent that has a ginger note like a tula de Hermes, that is my go-to combo however i recently picked up uh a ruby red house the house of oud and this is a ginger balm as well. So I start with this combo. However, because this is like a fresher scent and this dries down to more like a candied ginger, almost like gourmand leaning type of floral. Um, I like to, yes, use these, but I also go back in and layer it with this because this is so, like I said, rich, woody, sweet, decadent. It is everything. But I love the ginger, you know, that the ginger is accented with this because this has citrus, okay? It has ginger. And of course, this has it as well, um, the orange and ginger from Bath & Body Works. But I do like to top it off with something a little bit more rich and sweet to bring out the candied ginger in this fragrance. Now, if you want to make this a little less decadent, then by all means, just go with this alone because it is a very like natural, fresh orange and ginger combination. So yeah, anything with a ginger, definitely that combo works for dang near everything, okay? Now, if there is something with a very prominent sandalwood or I want to bring out the sandalwood in the base, child, you can already see, this is almost an empty, we're on our last leg. The Necessaire Sandalwood Body Wash is everything. And I almost get a hint of ginger from this. So sometimes I will use it, you know, with my ginger scents, but this thing is like going to a whole spa. When I say you need to get this in your life, if you love sandalwood, if you love those fresh, clean spa scents, this is a must. I absolutely love it. And again, one that I will also, you know, pair my ginger fragrances with. But if you have something that has a prominent cinnamon, um, not necessarily a sandalwood base, but something like a woody base uh, with cinnamon, the cinnamon and sandalwood from Bath & Body Works is what you need. It is very like woody, uh, spicy, and it is gorgeous i love layering it with my imperial peacock because as you know this is like very heavy on the cinnamon um it's got woodsy notes in the base so this is just oh it's just such a beautiful layering combination and if you have anything like um angel share okay hello this is perfect for that or uh you know side effects by nishio this is just a cozy layering combination must uh to prepare you you know for scents like those they're excellent to have um and again another layering staple so get your hands on all of the bath and body work stuff mentioned because like I said, they move this stuff in and out and this video is going to date itself very fast. But if you're watching this current time, they should still have everything. And I highly recommend all of these products. These are all fragrant. 
moisturizing to the skin and very hydrating and I just love them all. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Drop me a comment below. Let me know some of your favorite layering combinations and what you plan to, you know, to layer and your combos that will be your go-to for the upcoming winter. Doesn't necessarily have to be gourmand, but would love to know. All right, also you guys, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, that the notification bell is turned on to all and make sure that you give the video a big thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow. You guys, it is real. I love you all and I'll catch you on the next one.